A tanker loaded with petrol on Thursday rammed into a bus and a car on the Otedola Bridge, Lagos State, resulting in the loss of a life. The Director General, Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Lasema Dr. Olufemi Uke Osa Yitolu, said that two people were severely injured in the accident with a cord at 8.30 a.m. Okay, Osanyi Tolu said that the agency's official had, however, removed the vehicles from the road to ease traffic. According to him, a female adult lost her life in the accident, while a male and a child got injured. He said that the cups of a female have been taken to a mortuary, while the injured are being treated. Joining us now is Hygienist Omeje, FRSC Sector Commander. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Can you give us a brief of what really led to that accident at um, Otedola Bridge yesterday? Yeah, yesterday at about uh, 8.20, uh, um, we got an alert of that crash and our operatives uh, from the uh, Ojota Unit Command responded, of course, alongside with other um, uh, responder agencies who also got the information uh, the last mile, last seven, uh, we and the police, we, we all uh, responded, and um, it was a multiple crash involving um, a tanker uh, and two other vehicles. And like you rightly said in your news, uh, one person lost their life, and um, and uh, seven others were, who were injured were taken to the accident and emergency center at Ojota. There, uh, the the cause of the crash was a result of um, loss of control uh, on the part of the. Um, tanker driver and um, ran into other vehicles. Okay, so what, what um, is the takeaway from this accident uh, so as to avoid a reoccurrence? If you look at that very particular place, we, we've had incidences like this in time past. Uh, the problem is just um, on our attitudinal predisposition to the use of the road. Uh, there are areas that... Um, when a driver gets to that place, he will know I am supposed to slow down. This is a slope. That that that, that uh, uh, axis of the road is um, a slope that will warrant you also uh, going up. Assuming you are coming from the, the toll gate end, you need to slope down and you go up again. If it is the other way around, it is the same thing. And what is required at this place, at, uh, places like this, is that a driver should actually know that he needs to slow down um, his speed. That's not what people always um, uh, do. Rather, they just um, up, uh, allow their uh, increase their even speed, and by the time they have issues with their brake or anything, it's very difficult to control. All right. Now, uh, before we go to talk about all the traffic situation, uh, could you um, um, tell us what the situation of the injured is from this accident? Um, is it critical, or is it something that they're going to get better from? Because we know there is already one dead. No, they, they are responding to treatment. They are responding to treatment positively. They are going to come out of it. Okay, that's good to know. All right, since the lockdown was eased, Lagos has witnessed more traffic bottlenecks. What are efforts being made to manage this? Under normal circumstances, if we are really uh, obeying the federal government directives, we are not even supposed to have the kind of bottlenecks we are having now because um, the entire economy has not been opened up, so to say. Uh, we're supposed to just have people on essential services, uh, perhaps people on medical services, people in agro-allied industries that, that are supposed to be going to work, and um, a host of others like you and I who are on essential services who are supposed to be on the road. But what we, have, what we are seeing is because of the six weeks lockdown, then uh, strict lockdown that time, and this is enough, everybody just uh, dashed to the road. And uh, when you have... Um, a high volume of traffic that is not commensurate with the uh, road network. That is what you get, coupled with our, our lawlessness and indiscipline on the part of um, uh, the motoring public in terms of stopping where they are not supposed to stop and all those stuff. But again, we are addressing it. It, it, it will con we continue with our usual um, um, education, enlightenment, and of course um, enforcement, which is very critical here because um, some people do things even 
it's deliberately like that. I don't, I don't know, but we, what, we keep what, on what, what would you say is the assets. cost of this? Knowing fully well that the Federal Road Safety Corps is there to protect life, knowing fully well that driving safely will elongate your life and keep you from having unnecessary accidents, what could you say um, is responsible for this attitude um, of motorists, drivers particularly, on our highways? I, I will attribute it partly um, due to ignorance on the part of some drivers and also partly due to sheer disobedience to traffic rules and regulations. I'll give you an example. A driver knows that a red light is telling him to stop at a, 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 an intersection, but he looks left, he looks right, he didn't see any road, he didn't see any last man. He, he, he decides to run on red. You, this is not that he is ignorant, but he's just sheer, uh, disobedient to traffic uh, rules and regulations. And that is what we get in Lagos. People disobey traffic rules and regulations with reckless abandon as if uh, it is not the law that is supposed to be uh, obeyed. And that is why for us, uh, most time is uh, we just keep on clamping down on them because you know that they know this and, and, and they're not doing the right thing. You see people stopping at unauthorized places where they are not supposed to stop, simply because you want to pick a passenger, especially on the part of the commercial um, uh, motorists, they popularly call the downfall drivers. So if you look at all this, it, it just borders on the way and manner we abuse the use of the road. Let me use that word. It's an abuse of the use of the road. All right. We urge you not to relent in your efforts to put some sanity on our roads. Thank you very much for your time with us on the news. All right, we'll take a short break, and when we yeah, come well. back, we'll bring you more news. Do stay with us.